By completing quests for those in need, you will prove your abilities and demonstrate your potential Please. as a leader. You've got to help me. I'm so worried. It's my daughter, you see. I can't find her. The little scamp is always going off on her own, having adventures and whatnot. Always comes back after a while, though, but this time she's been missing for hours and hours. I'm frantic with worry. It's all her father's fault. He never stops talking about how there's gold to be found in the caves in Mist Peak Valley. I bet that's where she's gone. Please find her and bring her home, I beg you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Please bring her back safe and sound as soon as you can. Cheers.
of the cave. Brilliant. Help! What's that? My darling, my little darling, what a relief! I was beside myself! I can't thank you enough. I'm forever in your debt. I have no doubt that the people of... You need more followers. Try influencing people by completing quests. This is terrible. Somehow, the gate got open, and all of my chickens have escaped. I don't know how they did it, those chickens. And maybe I never will. Chickens are extraordinarily clever. Will you find the buggers for me? Right, you'll need this. Contrary to what most people think, chickens are very, very crafty. They won't fall for any of that. Come here, chicky chicky. I've got some lovely treats for you. Oh no, too smart. You have to defeat them psychologically. Now, they won't remain one concentrated force. They'll have redeployed into groups of three or so to maximize their tactical advantage. When you find one of these squads, flap your wings and such, and they should follow you back here. But don't let them try to negotiate with you. You do not want those little buggers inside your head, believe me. You've a new suit in your wardrobe, a new feathery suit. You're dressed as a chicken. What are you what are you what are you planning to do dressed as a chicken? Yes, you see, this way it will be here for you when you want it. Any other business to attend to? A little something new has appeared in the sanctuary shop. Care to have a look? The armory is at your disposal. With a rifle, a skilled shooter can hit targets at significant range and inflict considerable damage.
That's all of them. At last, the town can rest easy. Oh, Bernard, you've got to lock them up again. This isn't right. They deserve to be free. You're always on about the chickens and their freedom. You know what I think? I think it was you let them out. You're right. I admit it. I couldn't live with myself any longer being complicit in this chicken oppression. But they might have destroyed the entire town. Possibly the world. They might have gone off to live peacefully on their own. They might have created great works of art or literature. We don't know. And we have no right to take away their fundamental liberties based on our own prejudices. Well, now it's clear taking away their liberties isn't enough. I have to assume you'll try to facilitate another escape. And that means the only choice is to kill them all. Oh, no, Bernard! No, don't! All right, keep them locked up. At least so we can talk about this. You, you infiltrated the chickens. You lived among them. You know them better than anyone. What's to be done? It's a simple matter of kill or be killed. No, Bernard. They're not like that. All right. We'll let them live. But only if you swear never to let them out again. All right. All right. We'll work this out. I hope I haven't made a terrible mistake. But if I killed them, I would just make them martyrs. just don't know about this. It's what's best, Bernard. It's the right thing to do. I wish I could believe that. I really do. Now we just have to figure out... Haven't I compromised enough? We need to figure out a way the chickens can get the most out of their lives while still making you feel safe. Welcome to the Sanctuary. Find the legendary lost play. Splendid! Finally, tragedy and comedy will come together as they should. Turn back now, mortal one. Stay away from this only death place. and insanity await you. Don't pick it up. No, really, I'm serious. Well enough alone, can you? Bloody literary tourists, bane of my afterlife. Listen, you. You're not getting my lost plate, you hear? It's rubbish. Worse than rubbish. I mean, what was I thinking, mixing tragedy and comedy? I must have been off my rocker. It would seem, my dear fellow, you have been apprehended by the ghost of Philip Morley. That makes us both his captives. I am Ransom Locke. If the name seems familiar, it is because I was once a detective of some renown. And yet, here I am, ready to live out the rest of my days, trapped in a book. 
As far as I can deduce, we are currently in a scene from one of Morley's greatest romantic plays, the near tragedy of Oliver and Ethel. I believe if we are to escape, we must act out the scene. But performing is not one of my talents. If I am correct, putting on this costume should set things in motion. My love, my life, my son, if thou wouldst but give me one sign, one gesture that would speak of your affections, then might I think this grey existence worth living. Ah, uh, yes, a classic moment in the play. You are Ethel, the beautiful young daughter of a dung merchant. Show Oliver that you love him, and we may be able to leave this scene. My love. Let the heavens and the seas, the toads and the eels sing the song in my heart, for she doth love me and all is well. We shall meet again in the morrow, my little ferret, and elope into the sunset to live out our days in wondrous joy. A magnificent rendition. Truly, I applaud you. Hmm. I see you are gifted with remarkable literary cunning, but can you really comprehend the depths of my work? That we shall see. Ah, yes. This is undoubtedly a scene from one of Morley's earlier, funnier plays, Bloodbath at the Royal Court. And this must be your costume. The role of the fool is one filled with tragic depth. It will require a masterful performance. What fresh insolence is this? Out of my throne, you impertinent buffoon! Stand before your king, and do your jester's duty. Tis a troublesome time for this court, and my crown grows heavy. So make me laugh, or I shall have your head. Kuchikuchikoo! <laughs> oh, stop! It's too funny! I believe I'm in the right mood now to meet with those foreign delegates. I think I shall only behead half of them. Yes. I have never seen a more convincing fool. There is hope for us yet. Mm, you handle my royal dramas as well as you handle my romances. But will your versatility extend to the more subtle domains of theatre, I wonder? Oh dear. Unless I'm mistaken, this is a scene from Morley's notoriously violent historical epic, Titus the Mutilator, Part 2. Which would mean this is the gladiatorial arena from Act 5 where Titus is finally slaughtered by savage warriors seeking revenge. A favorite scene of mine as a child, I must admit. And here is Titus's famous costume. I had some pajamas that looked just like it. Put it on and you will take on the greatest role of your life. Titus, thy pox-membered body shall pay for thy monstrous villainy. My son lies dead because of you. Now shall revenge be mine. Cold is your corpse and all the more flavorsome for it. Do try to make your demise convincing. We're killing him. Won't get much off of your corpse. Look! 
kin lie slain, and yet you live. You have breathed your last sulfur scented breath, Titus. performance. That's just the ending I wanted to see when I was a young boy attending the theatre every weekend. I wonder what scene will follow now. Oh, what scene could possibly follow such a masterful rendition of my work? And the way you improvised some of those roles, you brought new life to my words. I stand in awe. You have earned the prize no mortal has ever been honored with before. My missing play. I entrust it to you, for I know that you will do it justice. I call it The Ham Sandwich. A metaphorical title, of course. Ah, you have retrieved our aged investigator. Happy day! Have you, perchance, found... This is no time for perchances, Lambert. The play! Do you have it? We're saved, Lambert! Oh, the joy in my bosom knows no bounds! Thank you a million times! Thank you! <laughs> His head bosom, it's already working. Comedy and tragedy will at last join hands. Hark. Bear witness to the tragic futility that is man. Oh, how it doth sear my senses to see paradise and yet to be barred. That reminds me of a great joke. A guard, a monk, and a chicken walk into a bar. Unfortunately, the bartender had had a mild heart attack that morning, so none of them get served. And yet what purpose doth heartache serve when the infinite dark blanket that is death falls softly upon our still beating corpse? That reminds me of another one. A corpse walks into a bar and says, Can I have a lemonade? Certainly, replies the bartender. I've never seen a stiff drink. And so endeth our happy, sad play, which reminds us we are made of nothing but clay. There's time only for our fool to say... Great big giant bosoms! What the hell was that? Biggest load of old tosh I ever saw. It didn't even make sense. Worst play ever. Well done. You have gathered quite an impressive following in Brightwall. This should be more than enough to convince this little hamlet to send aid to the so, dwellers. What shall you I believe now, Samuel Mr. awaits Lord. you at the town Any gates to express that very horizon? sentiment. I rather think not. My powers of reasoning and deduction diminish with each passing day. Investigation is a young man's game. How would you like to take acting lessons? I would rather consume a bottle of arsenic. And who could blame you? Esteemed citizens of Brightwall, today we demonstrate the generous nature of our fair town. 
For too long have our mountain neighbors suffered in silence. And now we extend a helping hand. But this effort would not have been possible without the courage and determination of one man, the son of the old hero king. From this day, we shall know you as the hero of Brightwall. Before you leave, we ask of you one favor. As we pledge ourselves to you, so we hope you will pledge to return Brightwall to its former glory and reopen the academy which your father founded. I will. Very, very good, very good. I expected nothing less from you. These volunteers shall carry the supplies to the dweller camp. They may have them with our blessing. I hope you will return one day, not just as our hero, but as our king. On that wall, you'll find the contract. You have done a wonderful thing for those poor people in the mountains. They will be overjoyed when you arrive with the aid that you required for them. Our hero returns, bringing good tidings. <laughs> and supper. <laughs> Damn thing doesn't open. How do you want? Oh well, I never thought you'd actually get it, tell you the truth. Boulder. We've been blessed, my friends. We have made an alliance that has already brought us life. One day, it will bring us much more. We require but one more offering before we fight at your side. Border. Promise to restore these mountains to their full glory and to protect our right to dwell in them. And promise you will bring nothing but the fiercest justice upon Logan's head. I promise. Then may we be carried into the castle by the dark storms of fury. We'll have to wait a little longer for that. It's still just us against a whole army. We need to recruit more people. Mm, I was afraid you'd come over all logical and sensible. Well, you have brought us a feast, and we are free to hunt again. We'll just keep on eating and drinking till you're good and ready. Right, Border? No. <laughs> he couldn't be happier. You have made an important ally today. The revolution cannot hope to succeed without fighters such as Sabine and his people on your side. You have the beginnings of an army now.
I placed the contract representing... You've a new type of gauntlet available. That is a gauntlet, a device which allows a hero to... You're the one what can I do for you? I couldn't be prouder of what you've accomplished here. But there is still much for us to do. And I know just where to find our next allies. I'll meet you at the station in Mispeak when you're ready. The revolution is just oh, getting yeah. started. <laughs> 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 Wouldn't have it. There's a job going in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 Don't mean so, to be rude. Where are you take? Not one of those posh ladies. Must be nice. Oh, oh. 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 How can I help? <laughs> 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 I like your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Are you in some kind of horrible accident or something? You know what would look really good on you? Hmm? Yeah. Ah. He's still alive somewhere. Yes. yes. That's good. Back that where I grew up, everyone had tats. Not like yours, though. That's crap. No, that's one. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> What would I give You're for a nice gold, wolf aren't skin you? to keep the no, cold that out? Feels. Yes, good. He's a riot. Not everyone can get away with that. <laughs> you, for example. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Remember what it was like before Logan came to power? Something must have Those were the, the days. Face. Typical so. thing for a time. <laughs> One day. Hmm. Mm. 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 Honestly, when are Lambert and Pinch going to stop bothering us with their awful acting? <laughs> Here we go. Oh, mm. yeah. <laughs> I have heard all about your good deeds. I'm so Huh? Yes, let's dance. Yeah. Ooh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that was great. Mm -hmm. That's all right. There's some geezer called Brian, lives in Brightwall, got a big collection of gnomes. He's convinced he can bring them all to life, too. People in Barrowstone have it much better than us. They're looking for a bar. <laughs> Follow me. I, I hmm? uh, oh, oh. to be corrupted by power, are you? <laughs> you really cracked me up. You're the one what found that long lost The world would be a better place be better if you were left all it as where honest as you. Is what I hear. You? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I really must... <laughs> well, a hero. Don't see that every day. How many good deeds did you do this month? <laughs> How about morning would come? 
anyway. You're an e Huh? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Have a look around. Hmm. <laughs> so nice to see a kid being a kid. Hope nice to see you again. Bernard's chickens live. But the most interesting thing has to be a rather odd object I'm convinced must have some historical value. Hi there! So, how's everything with you? Hello there! Not one to be corrupted by power, This should be good. Yes. Welcome to the same. But the most interesting thing has to be a rather odd object I'm convinced must have some historical value. I'm sure my cousin Saul would know what it is. He works over at the Brightwall Academy, you see. Very bright fellow. You wouldn't mind taking it to him, would you? I'd do it myself, but all that digging has done my back in. I hear Seiko was beaten. He's still alive somewhere. Wonderful. How kind you are. Here it is. You really are rather silly. Oh, thank you. From my cousin, is it? She's always sending me odd things she finds around the house. Although this one does look quite intriguing. I shall have a closer look when I have the time. Oh, hello. 
Mmm, lovely, aren't they? I've collected gnomes since I was a lad. My family said it was unhealthy. It made me take stock of my life. And I realised I had to make a change. So, I cut off all contact with them. <laughs> now it's just me and the gnomes. They're my best friends. Especially Jonathan. He's like a brother. I, I would actually die for him. It's his birthday today, you know. I ordered a special present for him and everything. But it, it never got here, unfortunately. Wait, you, you couldn't find out what happened to it for me, could you? Great! Great! Now, this package, like I said, it's very special. I ordered it from a catalogue. It was very expensive, but then this is Jonathan we're talking about. He deserves only the best. Now, according to the catalogue, the delivery coach travels through Misspeak Valley. Maybe they lost a wheel there or something. It, it's a good place to start looking around anyway. Ah, hello. You got it! Oh, this is brilliant! Brilliant! You see, Jonathan, I told you, didn't I? Oh, this is going to be amazing. This is going to be so mind-bogglingly amazing. People are going to say, right, this is mind-bogglingly amazing. Put it in the place of honour, would you? Prepare your display area in pride of place. <laughs> Done that. Ensure that your garden ornaments are facing your gargoyle with unbroken line of sight. <laughs> Check. Face your gargoyle, stand confident, take a deep breath, and say in an authoritative voice, Don't play with matches. Don't eat wild mushrooms, they could be toadstools. You should never move an injured person. Always look both ways before crossing a road. Oh, this is the greatest day of my life! Wait until I tell my family. Oh, I forgot I stopped talking to them. Oh, who cares about them? This is mind-bogglingly amazing! In the morning when 
I wake up and I stumble out of bed. I put my pointy hat on my little pointy head. And it doesn't much matter if the sky is rain or shine. Because I know all the bears are happy all all the time. All the time. They said the gnome is a happy fellow almost all the time. They said the gnome is a happy fellow almost all the I travel round the land and wherever I roam. From the mountains in the distance to the home. I raise my head and say in a loud resounding voice. Being an old is All the gnomes on the right say pointy little hat. Pointy little hat, pointy little hat. And all the gnomes on the left say, two foot tall! Two foot tall! Two foot tall! And again, lads! In the morning when I wake up and I stumble... Ah, hello! You have several new suits. Those will make dressing easy. Anyone can dress as a prince, but no one pulls it off quite as you do. Rather nice. You can use these mannequins to store your current look in order to easily select it later. I'm a wandering trader, trying to get to Brightwall Village, but the roots become infested with marauding renegades. They're bound to rob me and kill me, or kill me and rob me. I'm actually not bothered about the order. You look pretty tough, though. Could you escort me there? I'll be able to pay you something once I reach the safety of Brightwall. You'll take me? Thank you. I'll make it worth the trouble. Really, I will. Let's go. Can't you feel the call of the open road? I've been a wandering trader all my life. My mother was too. Couldn't tell you who my father was. Nor could my mother, actually. <laughs> Let's go. Can't you feel the call of the open road? Let's go. Can't you feel the call of the open road? It's almost certain that we'll get attacked by bandits. I don't know why the king doesn't do something about it. Renegades! Don't let them kill me! To live in anyway, buying stuff in one place, selling it in another. Keep your eyes peeled for renegades and bandits. There's always more than you bargain for. Go! 
Gates! Let's Help. show the bugger how we move! I read a book the other day by some bloke called Dan Smoria. <laughs> what rubbish it was. Stop them before they kill us both. He can't take us all. Whoa, watch out. He's a good shot with a gun. Eventually, I hope to open a more permanent shop. Billy's Bazaar of the Bazaar. I thought I'd call it. Just need to get some weird goods and that to justify the name. I love the life of a wandering trader. There's just so much, well, wandering. Bit of trading as well. We've made it. Thank you. Here's a little something for you. Oh, and come back later if you like, when I've got my stall set up. I'll give you a good price. Welcome to the sanctuary. Any other business to attend to? Again, you delivered that package from my cousin, didn't you? Well, it turned out to be a rather ancient artifact, a key to a secret door in this very academy. Most exciting. I was all ready to open it and investigate, but Samuel, my boss, said it might be dangerous. He suggested I find a capable escort. You certainly look right for the job. Will you come with me? It could be the greatest discovery of the century. You will! Brilliant! Let's go then, shall we? Knowing my luck, all we'll find is a list of goods traded to some long-dead merchant a thousand years ago. Still, that could be interesting in itself. 
What did they trade in those days? Who knows? We might find new tomes of arcane lore, or a book on ancient science that will enable us to build a flying machine or something. Though that is unlikely, I have to admit. Artifacts may be found behind this mysterious door. Wow, look at this place! It's stacked with rare books and ancient tomes. It's like a librarian's paradise. Thank you so much for getting me here safely, but you can go now. I'm going to stay here for a while and read and catalogue everything. It's going to be thoroughly marvellous.
Have you checked? Wool and the stuff I'm selling right here. Oh, it's you! Thank goodness! Y you've got to help me! My gnomes! My beautiful gnomes! With their little hats! I have to get them back! I just have to, you understand? I, I have to! Oh, thank you. I knew I could count on you. All my darling gnomes have deserted me. Well, all but one, and he's right in the house. His name's Lionel. He always had a chip on his shoulder, that one. I tried patching it, but it didn't do any good. Please, try and talk some sense into him. And don't worry, you won't have any trouble finding him. You, you just need to follow his... <laughs> his voice. your gun and Lionel suddenly appeared out here. But did, did you shoot him? Oh, however you did it, you, you have to find the others. Hunt them down, wherever they are. See, if I can get them all back, I can work out a way to fix this. Your mother! You shut it! I told you never to mention her! <laughs> Perhaps the company can help. Well, I am going to write a letter to their customer relations department. A strongly worded letter.
Hey, you're broke, ain't ya? How are we gonna make any money out of killing? Hey, it's not nice to play with guns. <laughs> I can never get over this place. Twenty years ago, it was just a damp, murky void in the middle of nowhere. Now people queue up to get dangled across it in a steel box. And here it comes. Most of the people here will be heading straight to Bowerstone. But we're going to take a little detour first. I just to something wrong. survivors. Looks like the only way. All right. I can do this. 
Let's get down. I don't want to spend any more time in this box than I have to. It fell somewhere up ahead. Come on! <laughs> I'd know those sounds anywhere. Maybe the monorail falling wasn't an accident after all. side. to hop heaven. Who else wants a bullet in the head? Look at that. They built themselves a little castle. Isn't that a door?
is a good idea. That way you don't get the smell. some other way of getting there. Think you're so smart, standing behind your fancy magic, don't you? Yes, that's right, I'm talking to you. the right way round. Try explaining that. Welcome to the Sanctuary. The armory is at your disposal. Burning a foe can have a... like that was going to happen.
You have overcome an important test. A good leader must always be ready to face the unknown, and to seek new paths. Your defeat of the creatures in this cave will be told throughout the land. return to the sanctuary and I can pass along what I know. Hello there. The gauntlets are in the armory, of course. Now, each gauntlet is capable of casting a particular type of spell. By wearing a different gauntlet on each hand, you can unleash a devastating combination of them. The sanctuary shop has some new bits and bobs, I believe. Why not have a look? Hmm. 
I don't think you're going to find a way round this time. But I've got some magic of my own. Watch and learn. Ah, you can almost smell the sunlight. Isn't it wonderful? The damp, muggy, soggy sunlight. This is Morningwood, all right. I hope the people we're looking for are still alive. Why wouldn't they be? Because, come nightfall, it's one of the most dangerous places in Albion. Well, I don't know about dangerous, but I'm starting to get a rash, bloody swamp. We made a good team back in that cave, didn't we? It's been a while since I got stuck into a real fight. It was just like fighting by your father's side. I'd forgotten what it was like, standing next to a hero. I think we're almost there. That must be the place up ahead. What I wouldn't give for a bowl of soup and a hot bath. Hello, I've just learned yet another remarkable tidbit from the Book of Heroes. It seems that you have the power to upgrade not only your living weapons, but also any weapon you find. Come back to the Sanctuary, and I can show you how. Into the armory we go. Examine your new weapon to learn what you must do in order to improve it. But whatever it is, please don't do it in here. I've just tidied up. Rifles are slower to fire than pistols, but can be used to engage targets at much greater range. Cease your movement! Be you men or be you hollow men! Have you gone daft, boy? Open up the doors! Walter? Is that you? The very same. Now, are you going to let us in or what? Right, yes, of course. Open the gate! Tell Major Swift, Walter's here! Welcome, Sir Walter. Sir. There he is. The one and only. Major Swift. Oh, oh Walter! What the blazes are you doing here? We came looking for you. I have a proposition. You came all this way to proposition us. And I thought you were here to save us from the legions of the damned. Ben Finn. It's good to see you. 
I take it the legends about this place are true, then? I'll say. You've never seen so many hollow men in one place. We've been stationed here for weeks, trying to eradicate them. Mainly, it's us getting eradicated. We lost some good men last night, including Lieutenant Simmons here. And the buggers will be back tonight. Logan just loves to send you on the best assignments, doesn't he? That's part of what I wanted to talk to you about. Is this... The Prince, yes. I'll explain. Just treat him like any other pair of hands for now. Fair enough. Captain Finn will show you to the mortar. We could use a, a body up there. Meet me on the wall when you're ready. I'll introduce you to Private Jammy. So cool because he's the luckiest sod in the fort. You'll probably be stuck by that mortar all night. Well, take a look around first. Talk to the men. It never hurts to know who's got your back. Finally left the old castle behind, huh? Long time coming, Major. Long time. I don't suppose you've ever used a mortar before? There's nothing to it. There's always a slight chance of maiming, of course, but um, I'm sure you'll pick it up. First, I'd like you to meet Private Jammy. He'll be your loader. Pleasure to meet you. There's two of the same about me, you know. Jammy is soldier in Albion. 724 wounds and still standing. <laughs> don't worry, you'll get used to him. After a while, he's hardly revolting at all. Right, Jammy. It's time to show him the ropes. Yes, sir. Right, then. My life's gonna be in your hands, so let's make sure you you know what you're doing, okay? Go on, grab the mortar, and we'll do some practice shots. Right, let's see what you've got. See that scarecrow over there? Blow it up. Yes! Yes! Boom! Push! <laughs> oh! Goodbye, Mr. Scarecrow! That was bloody brilliant! All right, Jammy, don't get too excited. You know what happens when you do. Let's just take care of the last one. Just one left. Hang on. I don't remember setting this one up.
Hello. The armory is at your disposal. Remain buried! Oh, doesn't anyone follow orders anymore? <laughs> Thank you. 
was pretty damn impressive. So, your father wasn't the last hero of Albion after all. We did it! Oh, really? We did! Let the poets tell our epic tale. The Swift Brigade fought against impossible Hooray! odds. They won. Oh, yeah. the end. Well, yeah. Sir Walter, you didn't do too bad for an old man. Neither did you for a buffoon. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that was just like old times, Walter. Just like old times. So, what do you say? Will you join us? With your help, we can put a stop to Logan's madness. Bring back the real Albion army. I swore to serve my king to the death. We all did. But this isn't the way it was meant to be. The old guard has been shoved aside, and these new soldiers Logan's been gathering, they don't care about this land or its people. Yeah, and I bet they get paid more. Walter has absolute faith in you. And after seeing you in action, so do I. All I ask is that you make a soldier's oath. Let your armies protect the people instead of oppressing them. Bring honor back to this uniform. Yeah, and don't forget the pay rise. Shut up, Ben. I promise. This has been a momentous day. With the support of Major Swift and his soldiers, the revolution grows in strength, and you move one step closer to becoming the leader this kingdom needs. Then it's settled. We're heading back to Bowerstone now. There are some people there I'm hoping will join us. We'll send for you when we're ready. Then I shall bid you good luck and farewell and all that. And just try not to get the rest of these lads killed, will you? We're gonna need you all. You always know what to say to keep morale up, Wally. Now get out of here. Farewell, my friends. Come on, you did good today. But we're just getting warmed up. I've added your pro- There are new items- If you feel like exploring, go ahead. I'll meet you at the sewers to Bowerstone. You can't miss them. Not like those mean gnomes. I'm a million times worse.
Welcome to the sanctuary. 